Welcome back to the ITU headquarters here in Geneva, which is of course hosting the AI for Good Global Summit here for three days. And I'm happy here on the first day to have the corporate sponsor of the event in the form of Bridget Jackson, who is the Director of Corporate Sustainability for PwC. Why is PwC here? PwC's purpose is to build trust in society and solve important problems. And uh, the AI for Good Summit is a fantastic way for us to support um, clients, businesses, organisations around the world to think through the convergence of sustainable trends, sustainability trends and technology trends. And we have client practices which are serving clients in both of those areas. So this was a, it was a bit of a no-brainer for us. It's a perfect match and we feel that we have a lot that we can contribute to the debate um, as we explore what AI means for the world in the future. And for you in particular at PwC, what does AI mean in terms of the employees and about how you handle things? So that's a very interesting question, of course. We heard this morning about how you have to disrupt yourselves before you get disrupted, and PwC has taken that approach. We have put technology right at the heart of our commercial strategy uh, as part of a transformation program. So we've been looking at how we can deploy AI to help with the accounting services that we have for clients. So we're using it in our recruiting processes, operational processes, as well as in the client services that we offer. If people are looking at this now, potential uh, employees, how does it help with recruitment? I think PwC has always offered a really good career opportunity and pathway for anyone who is coming out of school or university or, um, and looking at the future because it skills them up. So in the past, they would have, um, uh, they would have had a curriculum which was around um, uh, finance, which was around management consultancy, and of course we overlay on that technology. It's interesting because actually later this summer we'll be rolling out something which is called Digital Fitness, which is an upskilling program for all our people around the world uh, to get up to speed with the implications of technology, both for their day job and for their client work, and then we'll keep them current. So in a way, the technology is enhancing the attractiveness of coming and having a career at PwC. And do you see that um, uh, artificial intelligence having a bigger role at PwC in the future? For sure, AI is alongside a whole host of other technologies, whether that be uh, blockchain, IoT, uh, big data and cyber, it, it will be pervasive in all sorts of businesses. And since we serve clients in multiple geographies, in all sorts of sectors, then the application of technology in a world where we have socio-demographic change, where we have sustainability issues, where we have geopolitical unrest, it's going to be really uh, important for us to understand the um, the intersections between those and be able to advise clients appropriately. Now, you're, most of the people who you work with, they're accountants or they're providing consultancy and AI could be considered like, you know, it's not really part of their core business. Has it been easy to, or has it been a, an experience getting them to understand it and be involved in it and, and share in it? I think our people are quite excited about technology. I mean, there have been many waves, haven't there, of um, technological advance, and in some ways people describe the current one as being the fourth industrial revolution. And so as we engage with our people about what that means, I think they're quite excited about the opportunities. Um, uh, and in fact, recently we published a responsible technology approach for uh, making commitments to showcasing the good and highlighting the bad that technology um, in this particular wave may bring with it and um, the reaction we've had anecdotally is that they're actually really proud that the firm has been quite forward-thinking and is pioneering some ways of potentially putting in structures and policies which will help to safeguard and make sure that we harness the good from technology and AI. Okay Bridget, final question. Three days we're here, a lot of delegates, a lot of specialists in industry, social policy, the UN. Um, what would you like to see come out of this? I think the fact that this is happening is absolutely fantastic. Um, I would like to see some uh, momentum and common agreement about trying to create two things. One is a responsible technology approach that everyone can sign up to so that we share knowledge about the good and the bad across all organisations and everyone signs up to really looking at technology in the round. The second thing is that over a number of years we have been working on developing social and environmental um, 
accounting protocols, natural capital accounting protocols, which now gives us the opportunity to put a value on social and environmental impacts, whether they be good or bad. And it means that they can be integrated into decision making alongside financial values. I would love to see a total impact, as we call it, approach taken to measuring um, the impacts of technology as decisions are made about where to deploy them and how to apply them to the world today so that it can work for the good of people and planet. Thanks, Bridget. Well, that's Bridget Jackson, who's with PwC, the corporate sponsor of this three-day event here in Geneva. Thank you.